You're about to hear a great curated list of manly hobbies, but every time I hear a list like this, you kind of get lost and at the end you're like, yeah, I'm still bored. <laughs> I don't know what to do. So just commit in this video that you're gonna take some kind of action today to begin one of these because they're dang fun. 37 items, 60 seconds each one, easily skippable if you wanna get to the next one. Let's start now. Welding yes. is dang fun. We just learned how to weld. <laughs> so like, I've always been interested in it. Like, you're burning metal. How could you not like this Using hobby, together, right? Yeah. Um, but like, what do you actually do with that? Right. So we went out and bought a welder. We spent around $1,100 on all the welding. We bought higher end gear, yeah. but you can get start for $300, $300 I would say. Bucks. You can get a cheap welder, mask, gloves, um, your leather tank. apron. Yeah, it, yeah. It's not that hard to get started. But then the question is like, what are you gonna make? So we bought a side by side and we welded the <laughs> Tesla Cybertruck shape on it. It was just fun. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but I also, once I had it, like I bought just a length of chain from the, from the Home Depot yeah. and me and the kids, like we just welded each link together and they had like this baton sword thing. Like it was so <laughs> much fun. We've just used it all the time. Yeah. And I mean, from there you take it any direction you want to, uh, repairing mm -hmm. your trailer, mm -hmm. customizing cool. anything you want to customize. Yeah. I was wanting to build an, oh, time's up too. <laughs> fishing. Uh, yeah. fishing is a great hobby because you can take it with you anywhere you go. So to me, Disneyland is a nightmare scenario, right? Like I love my kids, I love my wife, and I love spending time with them, but it's boring to me to just walk around all day. And so when we go on vacation, anywhere we travel, I can always get up and go to a beach, go to a lake, go to a river, anywhere you go, there's some kind of fishing. And for me, just going out for two hours early in the morning, I wake up before the family's even awake, and it totally changes it for me. I, just have, I have a great time. That's the awesome thing is you literally just take an hour or so um, in the morning before anybody else is even awake, and that's when you get to have your alone time. Yeah, learn fly fishing, go ocean fishing, uh, all local, get a boat, whatever you got to do. Yep. The next is DIY, specifically like DIY home stuff. Um, we, I do all sorts of projects around the house. In fact, I do a lot of projects with my wife. It's one of the best things we do for our marriage. And we love doing them, not necessarily just because of what we get out of it, the nicer house, the nicer things, but also because it's just a lot of fun to go and create and do something yourself. It blends manly and decorating at the same time. <laughs> it's like a perfect husband and wife project. It me. is. And in the end, like you get to customize your home, right? So I've done um, tiling, I've done a kitchen, I've done refinishing cabinets. People come over and they look at our cabinets and they're like, you guys did that? Mm -hmm. We're like, yeah, those are the builder grade cabinets. They were orange before and now they look amazing. Yeah, we did it makes ourselves. a huge difference. We did a stairwell, add wainscoting. Yeah. We built a little secret room uh, for the kids in an under stairs closet. Cool. Uh, there's so much you can do and it's gonna add value to your home too. The next one is bucket listing. Who would have thought of that as a hobby? But Me. it really is. <laughs> Putting together a bucket list is one of the more motivating things I think that you can do to drive your life toward something that you want it to be, something amazing and becoming the kind of person you want to be. So putting things down on a bucket list and then committing to every year of my life, I'm going to find a way to knock one or two things off that list. That's just an awesome hobby. Yeah, I started my list when I was 16 years old. And now, like many, many years later, like still, I'm knocking things off my list and I'm almost there. You can go see my bucket list. I'll show you a link to what my list is and what I'm working on, but like, it will drive you to become better. It will keep you doing different things and learning different skills. I have one for me, separate one for our family, and each of my kids have their own list. It's awesome. The next one is restoring cars. This is one I have not personally done. Um, but I think it's cool and I'd love to get into it. I think there's some barriers to entry, but I think most hobbies feel that way. Yeah, so I'm, I don't know how interested I am in like buying an old Mustang and rebuild it up yeah. to new. Like I'm just not really into old cars, but I could definitely be buying an old uh, army surplus like Hummer. That'd and be sweet. Manning that thing up for doomsday. <laughs> oh, that'd be cool. It's a little different hobby than restoring old cars and that really it's brings in the welding. It's an old car and you're, not you're upgrading yeah, it. We've talked about <laughs> going and getting like an old army Jeep, right? Mm -hmm. And just like making the sucker bulletproof and just making it awesome, um, which I think would be a lot of fun. 
is whittling. Uh, whittling is fun uh, because it can go with you anywhere you go. During your break at work, you can be doing it while you're watching Netflix with the wife at night. You can be doing it while you're camping, etc. You know, go get some balsa wood and a, go get a whittling set on Amazon. Yeah, now. a whittling Don't knife is very Don't use a red, regular knife. It's going to be frustrating and you'll want like the cool tools and stuff. Um, but you can make some awesome stuff and again, it goes everywhere with you. So it's yeah. one that's easy to get into. Your kids want to start getting into the whittling as well. Get them a bar of soap and a kitchen knife and they can start learning that whittling. And again, like you're driving in the car on a road trip and your wife takes a turn at the wheel. Cool. I'm going to sit there and whittle. Pretty fun. Shooting. There's so many different shooting sports, whether you want to do long range shooting, um, shotgun shooting, this, it just goes on, right? Yeah. Um, go check out our other YouTube channel, which is called Backfire, uh, for all about guns and how to get into it. In fact, there's a specific video I'd point you to, which is our intro guide to shotgun shooting. If you're just Such new cool to sport. this, it'll kind of get you going uh, on the sport. Um, but it's fun because uh, guns are not expensive. I mean, 100 bucks or, or 300 bucks, you got a really nice setup. Yep. Especially shotgun. You can spend a lot of money on a good hunting rifle, mm -hmm. but a shotgun, you can actually get into that sport pretty inexpensively. The next one is nature photography. This is so cool. And I mean, look at some of these photos on the wall. He took those <laughs> um, in various places around the world. And then that's the cool thing is everywhere you go, there's some nature that you can go, even if it's like in the middle of the inner city and it's people, there's nature, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. That you can take photos of. Um, and in fact, there's this really cool app called Really Good Photo Spots. Yeah. Um, it's, I built it, but I don't own it anymore. I've sold that off. Um, but download the Really Good Photo Spots app for iPhone, and it's just gonna show you the coolest places to take pictures right around your city. Um, and if you want like a nice start so your photos actually look good, go check out the app. The app's a little wonky, it has some problems, uh, but it, the information in it is crazy cool. Any city in the world, you'll find awesome spots. The next one is RC. Um, cars are a great place to get started with RC. Planes and stuff are really cool too. Um, I think they're a little easier to ruin. Uh, the cool thing about RC, I think, is that you can start as simple, inexpensive, and basic as you want, and you can grow in this hobby uh, as far as you want to go. Yeah, if this sounds like a kid's thing, like a $30 RC car at Walmart, no, 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 no. Yeah. Like, I got, I, I bought a Traxxas Slash, and they make other ones that are you know, way cooler than that. Yeah. They go 60 miles an hour. <laughs> I mean, that thing vroom, yeah. past you. Like, it, it would break your leg if yeah. it hit your leg. It's so much fun. May or may not have made a jump over my F-150 that sent that RC car flying 42 feet. Maybe. <laughs> it maybe happened. But the thing you should know about RC cars is they're going to break all the time. Yep. When it's going 60 miles an hour, it, one curb and it's a part is broken. And so be ready to tinker. Don't yeah. think of it as driving, think of it as tinkering. And that's the thing is that the RC hobby, there's a huge component of this hobby is tinkering and replacing parts. And it's not hard. I'm no. not handy and I was yeah. able to fix it every time easy. The next one is bowling. Bowling I enjoy occasionally. I wouldn't say that I'm a hobbyist bowler. I would say that I have scored a 80. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But it's this true. Is good sport. I'm, yeah, it looks fun. I'm good bad hobby. at it. Whatever. Some people are good at it. If they you have want, cool shoes. If you want a hobby where they design clothes specifically to hide your beer gut, bowling is bowling the one is for, for you. you. It's perfect. <laughs> okay, dog training. So teaching your dog to sit and roll over, okay. But it, uh, there are a lot of guys that are really into teaching their dogs to like perform work. You know, a, a hunting dog, etc. Uh, that that's pretty cool. Uh, the things they do. In fact, I have some buddies that, like, they're they go hunting, but it's really about watching the dog work. Yeah. Uh, to go when yeah. they're bird hunting and stuff. Uh, it's I I can see the appeal to it. It's fun. The next one is marathon running, and lest you think that marathons are for skinny people with long legs, um, I, I would beg you to reconsider. Um, in fact, about four years ago, at about 270 pounds, I started training for a half marathon. Um, by the time I ran it, I was down to 255. I ran a half marathon, didn't didn't walk a single step of the entire thing at 250 pounds. Yeah, um, I, I ran a full marathon and about four hours into this thing, <laughs> I'm in this pretty rotund 60-year-old woman just passes right yep. by me and I'm like, <laughs> what? Like, it's so cool. You yeah. think it's it really is an everyman sport uh, yeah. for running and 
I'm starting to understand the addiction of running. I've, yeah. I've been enjoying it. It's pretty it. cool. And you know, you can start with a 5K or a 10K, but um, another thing that I would just say is you can probably run a lot farther than you think you can. Mm -hmm. You just have to learn the technique for running far. It's not about speed. It's in the mind. It's, it's in the mind, and it's about just consistently mm -hmm. moving at a nice shuffle. <laughs> Videography. Um, video, video making is so yeah. much fun in an age where drones are cheap um, and wherever your family goes, you can be making uh, videos. Our other, other YouTube channel, <laughs> our primary company's YouTube yeah. channel is called Income School and we teach people how to make blogs and YouTube channels as their full-time work. Like, this is fun. Yeah. I, I, I'm like, I might work right now, but I enjoy making it's this. Fun. Um, and so you could be making a YouTube channel on, on your Saturday about whatever topic yeah. um, and actually turn your hobby into, into a profit, but also just making videos. It's cool. For just fun. make short films yeah. and stuff. Yep, absolutely. All right, the next one is off-roading. Man, you have so many options now too. I mean, side dirt side. bikes, side-by-sides, ATVs. There's so much open land in this country <laughs> that you can just get out there and see everything. And I think that's one of the big, I guess there's kind of two sides to this, right, off-roading. Some people are in it for the thrill of the ride, the speed, the jumping, all mm -hmm. that stuff. But really one of the cool things about it is the places you can get to that you just can't get to very well on foot and definitely not in a car. Mm -hmm. So when my family had all dirt bikes for me and my, me and Emily and the kids, um, and it was fun. We really enjoyed it. For us, as soon as we bought a side by side, those dirt bikes started collecting dust. Nobody rode them um, because it was just it's just so easy to hop in. You don't have to put yeah. in all the gear. Just pop on a helmet and you're ready to go. Um, but it has taken us to so many incredible places in Idaho. Like we go camping, wake up in the morning and go just, I'm aiming for that mountain. Yep. And you just get incredible views that you can't get to in a truck. Yeah. And you could hike there, but it would take you days. It's just, it's pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Raspberry pie. Um, <laughs> no, for something completely different. <laughs> I like raspberries and I like pies. Yeah. So, okay, so this is a computer chip. Um, that you can use to make whatever. And yeah. it's, I mean, 40 bucks on Amazon, you can go buy a, a Raspberry Pi. And then you just search, up, search they're called Raspberry Pi recipes, um, that people will make are just cool things that you can do it, you can make it do. So you could have it, when you walk into your garage, you could say, hey, Jim's here, all right! You know, just funny stuff. I've seen a really cool one now that people are building dashboards for their family. So you get the chip and a, com and a TV and build a nice frame around it, so in your kitchen. And it shows your family Google Calendar all right there. Shows the weather coming up and everything. Just a big old dashboard built into your wall in the kitchen. Really cool. Super and you cool. don't need to know programming. You just buy the Raspberry Pi and follow the many, many tutorials online. But it's a cool way to learn fun. coding. Um, some really simple and basic fun things that you can do. And once you learn some coding, now you can do literally anything with that thing. Small airplane piloting. <sighs> Super we cool. have we have a friend who does this, and he posts all these pictures of like flying around Videos on a Saturday, and, stuff and, and it's just like stop! I can't look at it anymore. It's just <laughs> I want to do that. Um, you know, it, and wherever you live, it's not that hard to go sign up for lessons and go get a pilot's license. The thing that holds me back is the safety on yeah. this one. Uh, I did a bunch of research into this, seeing if I could possibly swing it, and it's about sixteen times more dangerous to fly in a small airplane than driving, which is like, okay, not that dangerous. Driving yeah. is not that dangerous. But if you're going to do this a lot of Saturdays your whole life, like, yeah, there's a real risk. We know. Yeah. In fact, I know two people who have died in small, small airplane, airplane crashes. crashes. Yep. Um, so there is some risk to it, but it's also something that a lot of people do, and it's relatively safe. Um, so something, something to look at. It looks awesome. <laughs> the next one is rock hounding. This is like going out and searching for like gems and cool minerals and stuff. And where we are here in Idaho, there's a lot of, there's been a lot of volcanic activity over the course of history. And there are gems literally all over the place. You can find some super awesome geodes and things like that um, if you know what to look for. So it's a really neat hobby to have. And I think there are lots of places all over the world where what looks like a normal rock to somebody else, as you get into this hobby, it's a, Pretty cool crystal inside. Yeah, I did it with my kids, and you can, you know, just go get rocks that kind of look kind of cool and put it in a rock polisher. Yeah. Fifty bucks or so you can buy on Amazon. 
holy cow. This is some of the neat like, things. They look pretty sweet yeah. when you when you get them done. They're it's pretty fun and yep. it's something that kids would just love. Plus, you can go gold panning. People do that in Idaho. Oh yeah, we've uh, done it. It's fun. It's fun. Archery. Archery is one of my very favorite things in the world to do. Um, you know, now both of us are into compound bows and bow yep. hunting and stuff. Uh, but it can be as simple as a pretty simple little recurve bow that you can get at Walmart and just shoot targets. Uh, if you live in a big city, there are archery ranges everywhere you go. Um, it's a really fun hobby, especially because it's great for kids and the wife to participate. Um, it's not intimidating, you know, shooting a shotgun with kids it's around. Loud. Is tough. It's loud. It's loud. Kids can't hold a shotgun. It's, yeah. it's hard as a dad. Archery. You know, get when it's this is the actual brand. It's called the little little Indian bow, um, ten bucks, and you know the kids can go shoot, and there's really little danger there um, with those little bows, and have a ball. Yep. The next one is smoking meat. The mm. only barrier to entry to this one is going and buying a meat smoker, and really, again, you can get into that fairly inexpensively. Um, in fact. Have a video all about that on this channel um, <laughs> comparing five of the the best smokers under five hundred dollars um, but I love this hobby this is something that your whole family can get behind your wife can get behind I mean you're literally cooking dinner all day long um, and it smells and tastes so good but it's also a neat hobby you can spend days and months or days weeks months how you can spend your whole life um, tweaking recipes and trying different things and making the ultimate brisket whatever it is. So it's a hobby you can really get into that benefits everyone in the family. In addition to that video you have on the best pellet smokers, we actually have another, another YouTube <laughs> channel uh, called Man Scouts Outdoor Cooking yep. that's all about pellet smokers and grills and Dutch oven and that kind of stuff. Yep. Sailing is fun. It, you know, you can get a small little sailboat for a couple thousand bucks. Go look on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist yep. um, and just get started at your local lake very simply. But you can also get certified to really go sailing like out in the open water. Uh, my brother did this and oh my gosh, it's the coolest yeah. family vacation in the world. Because um, you can rent a catamaran, huge, like 48 foot catamaran. Each couple has their own cabin in there. And so you get a, couples, a few couples in on it to go on a trip with you. And it's your lodging for the whole time. And you just go sail around islands in Tahiti and stuff. Yeah. It was crazy. <laughs> and it's not that expensive if you're getting other couples with you. So that could be the end of just starting with a little $2,000 exactly. boat that you, that you just begin with. While you're out sailing, don't fly your drone over the ocean. It doesn't actually work very well. Also, if you happen to be in Bora Bora, <laughs> go diving and you'll find mine. <laughs> <laughs> The next one's restoring furniture. And one of the things I really like about restoring furniture is you don't have to have like finished carpentry skills or really expensive or nice tools or really precise tools to be able to do it. Um, you can take, I mean, all sorts of wood furniture and with some sandpaper, some stain, um, just a few little things, you can totally refinish furniture. Um, if you wanna get into upholstery and stuff, that's pretty cool too and fun. And again, doesn't require a lot of tools. But it's a really neat way to take something that is trash and turn it into something awesome. It's also a hobby that you can make money with, which yeah. I like. I'm just a business guy. I just think sure. it's fun. Um, so, you know, go buying stuff on, on Craigslist Look and at then the flipping garbage it. garbage people are giving away for free. Uh-huh. Yep. Absolutely. Make some cool stuff. I don't have the patience for it. <laughs> Scuba. Scuba is ridiculously fun, needs little explanation because you know why it's awesome, um, but everywhere has a dive shop. We live in Idaho and there are multiple dive, dive shops, shops yeah. actually in Boise. Go get certified uh, for your date night with the wife for the next several weeks, and then the next time you go on a vacation somewhere cool, you're ready. You're and ready that's what's cool. It's like everywhere you go, you go rent the stuff at the dive shop, and so you don't even have to take any of it with you. you just, you're set up to have the most awesome vacation ever every single time. And you're certified for life. Yeah. Model rocketry. This one, kind of like RC, is one where you can start as simple, basic, and inexpensive as you want and grow as big as you want. You can get super into this thing, build 10 foot tall build rockets. High power rocketry that just, is cool. Whew, and it's pretty sweet. And honestly, it's just awesome to blast something off way up into the sky. Yeah, so go get your kids today, run down. At Hobby Lobby has them. Yeah. Walmart used to have those little, little kits. Estes, yeah. you know, uh, brand um, kits, but now Hobby Lobby is the only local store that I've found them in. But you can also get them on, on Walmart. You'll get a self-enclosed kit, go to the local high school and shoot it off. Super fun. Yep. 
The next one is camping. Um, camping doesn't need a lot of explanation to talk about what camping is, but this is really kind of like a gateway hobby into a whole bunch of others. I mean, you can't just like, just go camping. Yeah, you, you'll want to hike. Yeah, you'll want to You'll want to shoot a pellet gun while you're there. You'll want to whatever, do star watching, stargazing, whatever. Yeah, which is another cool one. It's a lot of fun. Next is rock climbing. So rock climbing, like outdoors and stuff is super fun. Both of us have spent yeah. quite a bit of time doing uh, rock climbing. Um, but it's kind of tough to just go YouTube this and <laughs> hang off a line. Uh, it, probably not very smart. Uh, so a great place to start is just go to your local climbing gym and learn some of the basics and learn things there. They'll probably also have courses or look at their board, you know, see where they have uh, excursions that they're taking people out. You got to kind of learn the ropes, haha, from somebody else to be able to do it. And that's the thing is, it's to me, it's way more fun to actually go out on the rock and and I climb. I agree. But I mean, I spent a year um, climbing like every week with actually Jim's brother, um, who was a certified uh, climbing instructor and really knew his stuff. And we would just check each other's um, anchors and knots and stuff all the time. And really, that's the kind of thing you need to be able to get into that and be able to be confident. Um, that you're not going to die. <laughs> mountain biking. Uh, so mountain biking, if you're getting started with this, I mean, go look, go to Strava, get the Strava app. Um, and it's so cool. People will establish routes for mountain biking around you. And then it's like a race, you know, that it will post everybody's times and you can yeah. see who the winner is, the king of that particular race. Like, it's pretty fun. If you have a little competitive bone in your body, it's a great way to get started. Nice. The next one is boxing, MMA, jiu-jitsu, all of that. I mean, there's not a whole lot more manly. Jiu-jitsu is super popular it's right now. very among popular. adults. It's yeah. not like the little kids where they're yeah. all day and they never actually learn anything. Um, <laughs> this is like serious yeah. fighting um, and their gyms popping up everywhere. And place. it's popular with adult men. This yeah. is not like the little kids karate. Really, when it comes to actual self-defense, jiu-jitsu... It's it's really the best style to learn. Um, somebody who is capable in jujitsu versus anybody else who's not, it's hands down who, who wins is the jujitsu person. Now, there are also a lot of MMA gyms popping up all over the place where you can go and you can learn a combination. You can go learn how to box, but you can also learn how to use jujitsu and, and throw it all together. It's a lot of fun. Leather work. Leather work is fun because there are projects you can build right off the bat that you're going to have an awesome result just by watching YouTube uh, with some very yeah. basic tools. A couple projects that I might point you to toward to get started um, are one, a messenger bag, yeah. uh, building a messenger bag. And it's so cool. You can have your cool custom messenger bag to go to work with each day. Build yeah. a gun case. You can build a leather bound journal. Some cool stuff you can do. Um, not that expensive, easy to get started. The next one is weight lifting. Weight lifting is a hobby, right? Um, and to me, I think that's where it gets really cool because some people, I mean, most of us, we go to the gym and it kind of sucks. We hate it. If you can get into weightlifting as a hobby, as something you really enjoy to do, um, you get the exercise in, but you also get that just like release of stress and everything that comes with doing something that you love. And so um, I personally, I used to be into this in college. I haven't been in years, um, but the people that I know that are really fit, even as, as dads of multiple kids and stuff, they're the guys who weightlifting is hobby for them and they spend time in the gym I still have to day. force myself to do it like it's not fun to me yeah but I like can start to see that like okay this could be this fun thing, yeah and I but I'm still it's still a grind every time I go I don't enjoy it yet but I'm getting there <laughs> all right kayaking um, we live in Idaho and kayaking is like That's this is like awesome the whitewater capital um, so much you can do whitewater rafting and kayaking um, but also I'll throw in like canoeing. Even if you, you know, you live in Michigan, you got a lot of lakes everywhere. Like you could build your own canoe. Yeah. They have some pretty, you can build canoes pretty easily. A lot of things you can do in this hobby. Uh, it could be pretty fun. Yeah. My wife and I went on a trip last fall up to McCall, um, Payette Lake, and we got out on the canoe and we canoed straight across the lake. And then we went along the shore just looking at all of the beautiful houses. Oh yeah. And just like, anyway, kind of house huntering it um, on the canoe. It's pretty sweet. Next is internet marketing. Um, make a hobby that's creating a business. Uh, I mentioned a YouTube channel before, but you can also make a blog. Like both of us got started that way, just making little blogs. Um, yep. And eventually they ballooned into our full-time job for a lot of years now. 
So uh, internet marketing can be a really fun one. Again, go to Income School. Yeah. That's our other, 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 other <laughs> channel. Oh my gosh, we're it's, mentioning so many. On it's this also one. a cool way to take really any other hobby that you have and turn it into an income generating um, thing, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so it's in and of itself is a cool hobby. By itself. yeah. So for example, I started a boat about pontoon or a site about pontoon boats. Yep. I wrote the content on it, let it rank on Google. And it was bringing in, you know, 35, 40,000, 60,000 people in a month to the website. And it was bringing in four grand a month. And it was just the website that I made about my pontoon boat. Yeah. Uh, so it's cool what you can do uh, to just write about your hobbies and bring in that traffic. The next one is knife making. Uh, this is another one I haven't done yet, but I've watched a lot of those YouTube videos. You've seen them. They like take a circular saw blade and they go turn it into a, a yeah. sweet knife. Um, I got a, an old friend in um, Virginia where I used to live for a little while who um, like does blacksmithing and mm -hmm. now he makes knives and stuff and he's got some really cool um, gems and stuff from like Africa that he puts in the, in oh, the handles that's cool. some sweet stuff. So super cool hobby. Um, I, I feel like it would be something you'd have to kind of get into because mm -hmm. I think it's something that's going to require some patience. Next is geocaching. This one's really easy to get started. Go grab your kids, download the geocaching app. app. Um, and just go find the hidden geocaches all around your city uh, by getting the GPS coordinates. It's like a treasure hunt. Yeah. Um, and so it's a fun one, easy to get started. I like doing it every once in a while with the yeah. kids. I'm not like into it, I wouldn't say, but it's a great thing to do on a Saturday where you're bored with kids. Another one is airsoft. Much like MMA and fighting, there's not a whole lot that's more manly than shooting each other. And this is not like <laughs> the little toy airsoft guns yeah. at Walmart. No, no, no. They make like a man's airsoft gun <laughs> like it looks the size and weight they're yeah. metal of like a real gun and these things like you can lay on the trigger and it's brrr, brrr, yeah. and you wear like all the camo and the gear it, it's cool yeah. uh, there's a group here in boise they meet together every saturday and it's just a bunch of random dudes and they go compete it's awesome it's super awesome <laughs> fly tying um i've done a little bit of this but i don't think nearly as much as you have but it's it's the kind of hobby that um, it does require some patience and it's a little bit meticulous, but it's also really therapeutic, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just something cool you can do and when you're done, you've got these awesome flies that you can use to go fishing. Yeah, it's not that hard to get started. No. I mean, you're gonna need a, a vise, some hooks, some the thread and some feathers, feathers and furs and, and stuff. And then you'll just watch YouTube videos and you learn how to make them. And even if you're not into fly fishing, it's not that hard to get started, honestly. Two or three weekends into this, you'll be catching your first fish on a fly rod. Um, and it's that's a gentleman's sport right yeah, there. there. It really go. is. <laughs> Playing the guitar. I have a guitar sitting in my closet that's been haunting me for years. Uh, and so that's one that I would like to learn. Yeah, and along those, um, I, I got a ukulele for Christmas. And so, and I'm finding that like I've kind of dabbled in guitar for several years. And I'm not very good at it. And I'm finding that it's easier for me to play the ukulele. Um, there are only four strings, <laughs> and so all the chords are easier to play. And so it might be a really good good way to get started with um, strumming string instruments. The next is hunting. Hunting is maybe the most addictive hobby I have ever found. <laughs> um, it's just it's the ultimate man's experience, yeah. right? Like it's just it's there's a reason that for you know tribes for generations have used this as your rite of passage to becoming a man. Uh, it's incredibly challenging. It takes a lot of skills, marksmanship, you learning the circle of life and respect for the, the land. And it's incredible. I've been taking my kids hunting on a, a recent hunt. So you can go check out the Backfire YouTube channel to see that. Um, and hunting in Idaho, all that. Yeah. But then I just recently went on a hunting trip to Africa and it's like, it is the ultimate experience. Now, some people have a chip on their shoulder about hunting. Um, what I would say is don't judge before you really understand it. Um, a lot of people um, make quick judgments about it without really understanding it. Uh, so learn about it, find out about it, and you may find that hunters are actually the best conservationists out there. So that's our list of 37 man manly hobbies for dudes. Be sure to give this channel a subscribe. We'll give you lots of other manly stuff.